All right, so it's a little chilly out. Um, so I'll work with the garage closed. I did just walk out and was like, nope, not today. Which I might be out there a little bit later once it warms up. But today, just gonna be trying to knock out a couple things with the money. Got the weather stripping in, so I'll probably start with that. And see what parts I need. I think there's some parts in this bin that I might need. Um, like a mounting plate here, I think. Or I know there's a metal piece in one of them that I think I need. Other than that, it's a nine piece kit. So I'm guessing two here, one here, and one along the door. So I'd be eight, kind of both sides, and then the trunk one. So yeah, the only thing I'm concerned about is it said Monte Carlo SS, but it had that chrome lip in there. So another Monte Carlo, the SS is supposed to be all black trim. Um, so the trim here is supposed to be black also instead of like the chrome on the Elko. But I'm not too worried about it because of lips or the, the wheels have the polished lip with the black face so if it I think that's the that might be the interior piece but most likely it's the outside um, like I said not a not a big deal but they'll just play off of the wheels a little bit so yeah then if it is a big deal I can take it off paint it put it back on no problem um, I have to find all these screws and everything. Not sure exactly what the kit comes with, but let's do it this way. Let's see what it comes with. Obviously, all the door trim or weather stripping for the door. Side. And yeah, the outside is going to have the chrome on it. So, like I said, I'm not too worried about it. It's not a true SS, so it doesn't have to be all blacked out. Um, it does look like little, some little dings in there, but no biggie. So, you see one, one for each side. I ordered them from eBay. Um, there are multiples to choose from. I just went with one of them and I was like, yeah. In the description, I saw they were chrome, so I was hoping it's just a generic picture, but yeah, they're chrome. All right, so this is the weather stripping for the trunk area. So I probably have to trim that down the side a little bit. That's for the trunk. This one. I'm guessing this one goes around the window opening. So, two of those in here. I believe that to double check. Um, yeah, I, don't, I, I doubt any of it was actually on the car or all intact when I took it off, so I have to figure out what I need still. And these are the last two, I believe. They go around the door, like the door jam, actually around it. I think could be wrong, but those are all nine pieces, and it does have a few little 
push tabs and whatever that piece is for. So yeah, um, we'll find the old parts or go through the old parts I have. It's a mess, I know, I know. <laughs> pieces here probably end up taking them off reusing them I'll probably paint these black if I need to but I do have a bunch of the hardware still here I doubt that's the original stuff um, but definitely see or use as much as we can in here as far as hardware um, and those metal plates and whatnot but yeah I'll finish digging around in there Get everything set up and catch you guys back on. Probably throw it on a time lapse once I have all the parts and start messing around with it. And cut you guys on here in a little bit. All right, so I moved them over here just to get that thumbnail. Um, but I think I have it figured out. Well, somewhat. <laughs> so I thought the chrome pieces were going to be for the outside. You can see they're a lot shorter couple inches so it's actually for the inside one and then the all black one is for the outside but I think I'm missing a part um, because it's just a little rubber seal it goes along the edge and I know on when I had the 88 over here on grind schools uh, Monty he had a black piece probably about the width of this first or this top ledge um, so I might have to look into that but We'll see. For now, I'll go ahead and install those on there. And then, like I said, those will be on the inside. So, uh, yeah. So, those will be like that or somewhere. Um, but I don't think that would be way too short. <laughs> so, we'll see. Is it the same length on the. No, it's even shorter on here. Um, so, yeah, I think it's definitely on the inside. And then this one would be on the outside. So, try not to mess them up before I even put them on. But, yeah, so kind of tell just that little bit of the lip over the edge um, so yeah we'll go with that and then this section here you can kind of see it has the same shape as the window so that would obviously go up in here and this part with these funny tabs on it that's what these tabs are for I'm guessing um, just little push tabs to go in there and on the door so these ones go yeah. guess I need to fix the, the handle there's still a bunch of small stuff I need to fix on it especially that squeak right there I know what you're talking about now Unc. Um, but yeah that last piece will go around this section wrap around the bottom and come up and pretty much attach right where the screw is Show you guys on the Elko. I know, I know the jams don't match the car. It was it's done a while ago. I'll redo it one of these days. But yeah, that last piece goes around the bottom here. And it'll wrap around and attach right there. So that other piece attach here, wrap around, and come down here. And 
Thought I saw those little push tabs earlier. They're somewhere holding them on. Yeah, so little push tabs. Um, yeah, so I'll have to get these or get all this rubber stuff out and I'll definitely paint these. So these top ones might not be going in today. It's a little cold to paint. We'll see what it looks like in a little bit when it warms up. Um, try to straighten them out a little bit. I know that one looks a little bent. But we'll get these cleaned up, painted, all the old rubber removed, get the new stuff on. And I just had one of these top pieces left. So, hold on. It's two different sections. Are these four Damani or Elko? I'll have to look into those a little bit farther. Because it doesn't look like this had anything on it. It looked like it was just up against the the rail. So I do have these parts or these two pieces. I'm trying to figure out if they go that way or that way. But they pretty much eventually just sit in there like that. And obviously the rubber will go inside of there. Yeah, I'm thinking that just, I would have thought they attached to that, but since I have this rubber here, and most of this is still there, I don't see why it would be doubled up. So, I'll have to look into that. These might be four. I don't know, they look a little long for that. I don't know. They might go to it. They might not. I'll have to look into that because it would make sense for it to have something to hold on to besides just screwing it to the body. So I'll clean all these up. Eventually I'll paint them. i throw these in for now. Um, and then this one obviously just goes alongside the uh, trunk. So I know the original one was one piece. Um, that one's two pieces, so I don't know if I'll leave the split down here or up top. Excuse me, but I'll just wrap around the edge and um, I might have to trim it down to size. But yeah, I'll start, start with the easy thing first, do the trunk one, then get the door ones on. Um, just find some small screws. I think that's all it is Yeah, some small screws and tackle that and then probably won't throw it on time-lapse because It'd be all over the place, but you guys get the idea I'll cut you guys back on once everything's on there and then start messing with the package tray these inner pieces here Really don't need them because the ones already on here are in good shape so um, I'm not going to take these off because like I said they're in good shape and I don't feel like messing them up. So the inner ones are on the top of the door panels so that's good there. These ones just five little screws be good there and then uh, the door trim ones. Now there's no hole here I can fill a screw. Uh, behind there, so I don't think I covered it up. I think it's already like that. So what I'm gonna do Once I get all these tabs pushed on I'm gonna get a drill bit and just make a little hole there And I'll use the push tab to secure it in place same thing up here uh, That one might be in the right spot Let's See which way does it go? so Yeah, I think those are going to be good. Those will be good. Um, these tabs here, they're kind of hard to just push in by hand, so I have a little bit of an Allen wrench. And what I'm doing is just using that to push those tabs into place. 
just be careful make sure you have all the tabs taken out before you start this one I'm going to move the car over a little bit because there's not enough room to really open the door but the tabs there's still a couple of them left in there so once I get it moved over I'll be able to open the door all the way and finish putting that side on but yeah you just go along the whole side of it and push all those tabs in there was a screw up here but I think this one I just use one of those push tabs and like I said on this one I just have to uh, want to get everything on so I get it in the right spot and drill a hole and put one of those push tabs in there um, just give you guys an update so far and these ones I will use oh where's that the metal piece here so I'll clean that up and everything and now go alongside the tr or the uh, drip tray or rail here I'll go along there screw into place and then um, this would be in there also which that might just push into place because I'm not really seeing any holes for the screws so those might just be pushed into place there maybe a little bit of uh, glue or something to hold them into place but they had that little tab there to keep the window from rattling so we'll get all we'll get everything buttoned up and go from there I'll catch you guys on if I come across anything else that's a little concerning but for the most part it's pretty straightforward um, like I said uh, what was it this tool here if the windows are still in there um, one of these makes it a lot easier to get in between the window and those screws so it's a little kit I got from uh, Lowe's so yeah, but since the windows are out, just a regular Phillips head. Gets those screws in and out pretty easy. Um, just hit up my buddy. I dropped off the parts for the windows, so he'll powder coat, he'll sandblast those and powder coat them. I should probably have them back later this week. Be able to button all these up and get the windows tinted and start making some progress on the car. But I'll cut you guys back on once. Most of the stuff is back on. Like I said, that's not going to be on until I clean it up. But I'll cut you guys back on um, here in a little bit. Got one of these cleaned up for the most part. Still want to spray it just to keep it from rusting or anything or messing up. So uh, that little corner is a little tough to get. Just, uh, just using a wire wheel. Um, but did a good job on getting most of it out. I have to do a second one. So. Pretty much pulled as much as I could off, and then what was left over I went and did a wire wheel with it. So I'll clean up the little grooves here shortly, and then I think this is the only real major kink in there. So I have to flatten that back out. Everything else looks pretty good. Yeah, so yeah. these will go. I think that's the passenger side with the little tab. So, yeah, so I'll sit pretty much right in there and bend it back to shape, and we should be good. That tab, just like on the Elko, it's right before the bend. So, yeah, but let me clean these up. I haven't checked outside, but I think it's getting a little bit warmer, so. Might be able to get a couple coats of paint on there. Um, I'll just do a black because you really, really can't see it. It tucks up in there quite a bit. Same thing with those. I'll clean those up. Those will be this section right here. So I'll clean those up. Now I guess you can't see it a little bit. So yeah, definitely want to get some paint on them. Um, but yeah, let me. Get back to it, cut on the music, and let's go at it. Alright, so I think it's a little too cold to paint right now. I don't want to risk it and mess this up and have to do it again. Um, but I might prep these for paint. I might scuff them up either with some sandpaper or a, a scratch bright pad. So scuff these up and have them ready for paint. 
did take the back piece out. We'll be probably sanding that down a little bit. Um, the door, like I said, I still need to adjust it. I don't know if it's the door or the fender. They both need a little bit of adjustment. Um, but it closes. Takes a little bit more with the uh, weather stripping in there, but seals up nice. Oh, man, it's just, it's just little things that make a difference. <laughs> so uh, eventually I'll move the car over a little bit or try to. I think I saw Harbor Freight has the wheel dollies now. And I'm like, man, do I go out and buy four of them and just slide the car over? Or do I just take forever and back and forth, back and forth to get it over a little bit? Um, I could probably just turn the wheels and let the car come as for far forward in the garage as possible. And that should give me the clearance I need to get the other side all on. Um, but I know I should be working on the brakes, but that'll probably be tomorrow. Um, with these right here, I'm going to try to get away with not gluing them in. Um, I don't think you need to. There's little ridges on both sides. And I think they just go right in between these slots in here. So one there and that lip there. So hopefully it works out like that. If they start to come out or anything, I'll just take them back off and throw some glue or something on the back and adhesive and get them to stick in there. Um, they do just screw into place, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, but yeah, it's it's getting close, a lot easier. Or once you realize you have all the parts, um, it's nice <laughs> um, seeing where everything goes. Can't forget about uh, can't forget about those. So we'll paint them all. Um, I think I think sim semi gloss black is what everything else is. Of course, these are powder coated. Um, the handles. I think I bought these ones black. These ones I had powder coated. Um, so, yeah. These little pieces, I'll just paint them. I'm not too worried about them. Plus, I don't think the larger pieces will fit in my buddy's oven. So, I'll just paint those to try to get everything uh, situated with the weather seal. Um, I thought that's how much I had to cut from the trunk piece. So, when I started laying it out, I was like, man, I wonder if they left you enough for the drip tray for the windshield um, but it's a little short so sitting to get that piece I might throw this one on the Elko see how the Elko pretty much gets the leftover parts all right this, this day will pretty much be one long video so I'll throw the uh, package tray stuff in here too but this close to being done see I got this piece painted and forgot to paint these pieces <laughs> so I was getting excited I was like ah, I ran out of screws so I gotta pick up more of these screws um, but yeah I was like you know what everything's going good and I got to that back piece I was like oh man I forgot to paint those so no it's not, not a normal sight seeing me in the driver's side with the door open so was able to get this weather stripping back on and the door jam switch so got all that on of course the car is moved over all right so what was I saying we got the weather stripping back on and the cars moved over a lot so I was able to open up the door that way um, if it clears the garage I'm gonna leave it like it is now not worry about straightening it out but <sighs> we'll see those doors definitely a little bit harder to shut without the or with the weather stripping on there but you can see the amount of room on the side here now and how close it is so yeah probably should have pulled the bike out and just put the bike on this side, but it's a little chilly out, so I don't plan on getting the bike out anytime soon. Um, 
anything, I'll just roll this back and straighten it out. So we make that happen. Um, but knowing, knowing how it sits now, uh, when it is running, it'd be enough room to angle it out here and uh, not have to worry about moving the PT and the blazer. So we should be good there. But yeah, there's a, there's a whole lot more room for activities. <laughs> all this room back here. Still have all this. So. Yeah, but obviously it's not going to stay like that. Um, I just did that to be able to put that weather stripping back on and put the door, door jam switch on. So now I think it's time to... All right, yeah, now I think it's time to go get some, something to eat. Had a little snack for breakfast, but it's already, what, what time is it? Probably almost four or five o'clock. Yeah, almost four. So yeah, it's definitely time to go get something to eat. Um, man, it's, I looked at it at this angle too much. Of course, I just need to adjust some stuff. Obviously, do the alignment on the wheels. Um, wash it. Man, that's. Whew. That's spider webs. Um, but yeah, I might push it back a little bit. And I need, really want to do what uh, Orange G Body did. And. Get that winch mounted in the floor so you're able to just roll it in and out and if you need to pull it back just hit the winch and let the winch do the all the work um but that that's one of the plans because help my neighbor put up his so he can get his rooftop tent off his land cruiser so i was like there how much um but yeah that might be one plan to do that but i could always push it I found like most people they'll just just go to the front and try to push it that way. Really, if you just rotate one of the wheels, it makes it a lot easier to move a car, especially by yourself. Um, so that's how I got it in this position as it is now. But I don't know. It's, it's weird being able to, able to walk around the driver's side with room. Um, but yeah, let's see, what else? Put the trunk and closure back, and that pop sounded different with the, with the push down a little bit with the weather stripping in there, so. Um, we're good there. A little tail light Tuesday. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's about it. Man, the, the roof is horrible. You guys see it in person, don't say anything about the body work. I know, I know it's, not the best. It's not the worst either, but not the best. Um, but yeah, um, once I get that other piece painted, get these on, and I button up the weather seal. But I'm not worried about that. You guys kind of get the concept if you watch this far. Pretty much just go in and. Uh, Push it in between the two little cavities in here and call it good. So, this isn't perfect. I think I messed up on it a little bit, but you barely gonna be able to see any of it. So, yeah, that's it. Time to clean up some mess and go eat.